Hi, Andy Tully from Range of Motion Physical Therapy here. So today I'm just going to talk about some exercises that will help mobilize your hips a little bit better. So if you're an athlete that takes part in sports that are pretty much one directional, swimming, cycling, you're always moving forward, your legs are always going in a straight, straight line position, it's good to mix it up a little bit with some exercises that helps take that hip into directions that it doesn't normally go in. So one of the first exercises I, I, I tell clients about, it can be used as a warm-up exercise, it's just doing some pivots through your hip. So for example, what all you're looking to do is take the pivot, take it forward, you pivot back this way, and then pivot out to the side, and pivot back around that way, and then pivot laterally, and then pivot it over here. So what we're doing all the time with this exercise is keeping our left leg that we're pivoting around, pointing in the one direction, and we're going to work around that exercise. It can be further advanced by increasing the, the, the speed you do the exercise in. You may want to hold a medicine ball and really use the, use the velocity of the medicine ball to open up that hip. So as we're getting that hip really working. So following on from our pivots, um, I'm going to show you some nice stretches, hip mobs that you can use. These can be used after, after you've done some warm up exercises such as the pivots, such as some, some, some uh, sprinting. On, and also they can be used as cool down exercise so when you finish your exercise program you can use these to help keep the hip nice and loose. So what we're going to do is get onto our all fours. We're going to have our hands shoulder width apart. We're going to have our knees hip distance apart and all we're going to do to stretch the left pelvis, left hip, is just bring our left knee slightly forward, hook our foot, our left foot in behind our right knee and we're just going to sit back into our left hip. Okay. So the idea is that I'm not coming right over, I'm trying to keep my pelvis level to the floor so as I can actually feel my left hip sitting into this kind of pocket region here. And again, you can maintain this position for 20 seconds. You can come in and out of it just to really get that hip mobilizing. You'll feel the stretch if you're doing it correctly. If you can't really feel a stretch or a pull, maybe your, your pelvis is, is at an angle and you need to flatten it out. The next position that you can use would be to just simply straighten out the right leg and then we're going to go lateral so straight out to the outside so again you'll feel that across the left side the, the left side outside of the hip so really what we're doing is we're adducting the leg okay so i can feel that nice good pull coming out this is a good tfl stretch which is a muscle that innovates in with the it band so if you get a little bit of it trouble it's a great exercise or sorry it's a great stretch to help with that that muscle. So another nice exercise or stretch would be for the hip flexor. Okay, so the best position for this is to get into a half kneeling stance. And some people like to place their arm in the air and using using the right knee as a guide, bring it out over that right foot, and you're staying up nice and tall, and then keeping the upper body tall. So as you're getting that the banana shape through that hip. If you're a little bit more in tune with your body, it's another simple way of doing this, just to really sort of posteriorly rotate your pelvis and then lunge forward. So you don't really need to hyperextend through the lower back, which can cause a little bit of problem there. So what we're looking to do is rotate the pelvis backwards, tighten our core, and all we need to do then is just do that lunge again, but I can feel a similar type pull through the front of my pelvis. So if you'd like to learn more about hip mobile exercises, Contact me at rangeofmotionphysicaltherapy.ie